On the way to the moon, the Apollo astronauts reached a point where the moon's gravitational pull uh, became stronger than the Earth's. Uh, determine the distance of this point from the center of the Earth. And what is the acceleration due to Earth's gra gravitation at this point? Um, and you, you need to know these values, and you can look them up. Uh, the mass of the Earth, the mass of the moon, and the distance between the Earth and the moon. And this distance is between the center of the Earth to the center of the moon. So you don't need to worry about the radius of the uh, Earth and the moon in this problem. Uh, also, uh, a way to think about this problem, well, draw a picture of it. You know, here's, here's the Earth, and here's the moon. This is not drawn to scale. But actually, it's not too bad. I, I think if Earth was this big, maybe the moon would be way over here. But um, so this is D from here to here. And at some point between the Earth and the moon, the gravity from each is canceled. Now, obviously, the Earth's a lot bigger than the moon. So we're going to assume that where the moon's gravity is canceling out, completely canceling out the Earth's gravity, is, is probably closer to the moon, somewhere in there. So we want to know where that spot is. So find, uh, determine the distance of this point from the center of the Earth. We'll call that distance x, or you can call it r. And uh, I'll just call it x for right now. Uh, and then we also want to find uh, what is the acceleration at that point due to Earth. So let's solve it. Well, if you're at this point, you know, you can draw a free body diagram of the uh, Apollo spacecraft. You've got the force of gravity due to the moon and canceling out the force of gravity due to the Earth at this point in space. And in fact, at this point, it's going to start falling into the moon. It's going to start accelerating again. All the way out here from the Earth to the moon, the spacecraft was slowing down, slowing down. When they left Earth orbit, they're going about 25,000 miles per hour. I believe they're going about, uh, uh, about 5,000 miles per hour when they reach this point. And then they accelerate, and then they got to slow down so they can go into orbit. But anyway, this is, this is the problem we're dealing with here. Um, now. So the, what is the force of gravity uh, due to the Earth given this? Well, it's g, the mass of the Earth, times the mass of my spacecraft over, and what is r? It's, I'm going to call it x squared. Well, that has to be equal to this force, <clears throat> which is g times the mass of the moon times the mass of my spacecraft over, now what is this distance? It's going to be d minus x squared. OK, and so now the mass of my spacecraft goes away. The gravitational constant goes away. And by the way, this is what Newton did. Newton solved problems so that big G always canceled out because he didn't know what, what the gravitational constant was. But he was still able to solve a lot of problems. Um, so now we've got. Uh, the mass of the Earth over x squared uh, equals the mass of the moon over d minus x quantity squared. And we want to solve for x. Well, I'm just going to take the square root of both sides, and that'll get rid of these squares. So it'll be the square root of the mass of the Earth over x equals the square root of the mass of the moon over d minus x. And then we just got to do the algebra here. This times this equals this times this. So um, the square root of the mass of the Earth times d minus x. This times this equals the square root of the mass of the moon times x. So now what I'm going to do in one step is I'm going to distribute this in here 
and then put this x on the other side. So <clears throat> this is going to be the square root of the mass of the Earth times d is going to be equal to um, and if I put this over here I can distribute the x out and the x is just the square root of the mass of the moon plus the square root of the mass of the earth and so now I can solve for x maybe there was a quicker way to do this algebraically I don't know so, Calculator solve function. You cheater. Cheaters. <laughs> That's. It's. Now, uh, I'll tell you what. Um, you plug the numbers in, and to save time, I'm just going to uh, look up the answer. <laughs> Just plug in the, the mass of the Earth and the mass of the Moon and the distance into those. And what do you get as an answer? Uh, this is so figure it out as I try to find it in the book. And we get 3.46. Times 10 to the 8 meters. Now let's let's see if that makes sense. 3.46 times 10 to the 8. Well this from here to here is 3.84. So it's very close to the moon actually when these when the moon starts taking over from the earth. Now to figure out the gravitational um, acceleration or the gravitational field really of earth uh, due to earth We'll just plug that value in. G at mass of the Earth over this, we'll call it x squared. And so you know what big G is, right? It's 6.67 times 10 to the negative uh, 11 Newton meter squared per kilogram squared uh, times the mass of the Earth, which is uh, 5.98 times 10 to the 24 kilograms divided by this quantity squared. And when you do that, you get, so go ahead and do that, uh, you know, check my work, but you should get uh, 3.34 times 10 to the negative 3 meters per second squared. So that's, that's really a, um, slow acceleration uh, or, sl or or very low gravitational field. I really should put this in as, as newtons per kilogram rather than meters per second squared, but it doesn't really matter. So that's my answer there. And that's how you do it. And that's all. <laughs>